Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. Hello. How teacher. are you? Hi, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Good evening to everybody. I have a new friend. Give me a second. Uh, his name is Twinkle. Twinkle's my new friend. Let me show you. I am Twinkle. Twinkle, Twinkle. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> I have many friends. Tengo varios amigos de esos. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. And let's start with the with the book, right? Vamos a comenzar con el manual. Nos quedaron dos páginas pendientes el día de ayer, pero vamos a pasar eh, la, el listado antes, ¿sí? Um, ¿Alguna pregunta de las clases anteriores? ¿Todos estamos no. haciendo la plataforma? Yes. Yes. Ok. ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre la plataforma? No. No. Ok. Excellent. There we go. So let's start. Eh, Misael. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Peter. Welcome. Welcome, Misael. Give me a second. I have some problem with the violin. Okay, good. Eh, Wilfredo. Present. Thank you. Rebecca. Present. Oscar. Oscar Armando. Alexis. Maria. Present. Okay. Margarita. Present teacher. Jose Roberto. Jose Antonio. Irving. Imer. Present. Héctor. Isela. Present, teacher. Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Fatima. Emeralda. Hi, teacher. Hi, Eric. Eric. Dora Alicia. Carmen. Present. Okay. Candy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Silvia. Okay, again. Second time. Let me see. Oscar. Alexis. Jose Roberto. Jose Antonio, Irving, Héctor Gustavo, Fátima, Eric, ah, Fátima. Present teacher. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Fátima. Eric, Mr. Flores Linares, are you there? No, okay. And uh, Doralicia. Doralicia and Silvia. Good. Tonight, the extra class is for Francisco Javier Bache Araujo. Tonight, yeah. ten, 10 extra minutes, Francisco. Yeah. Full English. I don't have any problem. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, let's just start, right? I hope the other ones incorporate later, right? Pero que se incorporen los demás. Yes. Good. Now let's share the manual. Let's share the manual. And we were working with this yesterday, right? 
I'm going to repeat, right? Listen. Oneida Chicas creates software, repairs computers, installs antivirus. Okay? Nelly Pineda doesn't sell computers. Oh, computer. Well, computers. Yes, computer. Nelly Pineda doesn't exchange information about programs. Ricardo Mata. Ricardo Mata Gómez. Bueno, no only Mata, sorry. Mata, keep track on the sales. Keeps track, sorry, on the sales. Ricardo Mata writes reports. Ricardo Mata buys new merchandise. Keeps, writes, buys. Max Pinto doesn't receive money from sales. Max Pinto decides what to buy. Okay? Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Create software. Repair computers. Install antivirus. Sell compute. Ah, no, sorry, excuse me. Uh, I made a mistake. Aquí me había equivocado. Sorry, excuse me. Sell computer programs. Yes. Exchange information about programs. Keep track on the sales. Write reports. Buy new merchandise. Receive money from sales. Decide what to buy. Okay, let me see. We're going to See if you uh, understand the pronunciation. Let me see. Candy, please. Read Oneida Chicas, please. Yes. Oneida Chicas, clean software. Creates? Creates okay, software. Good. Continue. Oneida Chicas, repair computer. Very good. Repairs, repairs, right? Repairs. Computer. Computers. Good. Continue. Continue. Computer. Oneida chicas install ins, install antivirus. Antivirus. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Carmen, please. Nelly Pineda. Nelly Pineda serve computer programs. Sales. Uh -huh. Continue. Nelly Pineda. Exchange information about programs. Exchanges, right? Exchanges. Thank Exchange. you. Ah, oh, no, okay. no, excuse me. This is negative, right? Excuse me. Doesn't, okay. sell, uh -huh. doesn't sell program, computer program, uh -huh. and doesn't uh -huh. exchange information. Okay, doesn't. thank you. Thank you. That's enough. Thank you. Okay, uh, Esmeralda, please. Ricardo Mata. Ricardo Mata, keep track on the cell. Keeps. Write reports. Keeps. Keep track on the cell. Write report. Buy new merchand merchandise. Mercan merchandise. Merchandise. Buy. Right? Negative. Uh, Fatima, please. Negative. Max Pinto. Mm -hmm. Hola, ¿me escucha? Yes, yes. Ok. Max Pinto, Risei Money doesn't, from doesn't, Cell. Dasen. Dasen. Receive. Huh? Max Pinto, Dasen, Risei Money from Cell. Continue. Max, Max Pinto, Dasen, decides what to buy. Okie dokie, thank you. Now... Let's go to this exercise. Look, please. Read the information again. We read a lot. Ya lo leímos bastante, right? Then this is compared with a partner. We're, we're going to compare in the class, right? Good. Now, this question is uh, for Francisco. Francisco, 
According to the information we read about Oneida Chica, Nelly Pineda, Ricardo Mata, Max Pinto, Javier Gomez, oh no, Javier Gomez, no, sorry. All these people, right? You're going to answer yes, she does, or he does, or no, he doesn't, or no, she doesn't, right? According to the question. Question number one. Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares, Francisco? Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Oneida. Oneida Chica Nelly. and Nelly Pena. Mm -hmm. With software. Yes, she does. Okay. Now pay attention, Francisco, in the thing that we have two, right? Oneida and Nelly. It's two, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So in this case, you're going to say they, right? Again, do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Yes. Oneida and Nelly work with software. Okay. Excellent. Oh, yes, they, they do, right? Yes, they do. They do. Mm -hmm. But look at this. It says Oneida creates software, right? It's true with Oneida. But with Nelly, Nelly, no. Right? It's confused the question. Está algo confusa la pregunta, Francisco, pero. Vamos a decir que no, porque Oneida sí, pero Nelly no, ¿verdad? Lucy says, don't, look, no lo hace. Color anaranjado, the orange color is not, right? So, tal vez confusa la pregunta, pero quedémonos en no. No, they don't, right? No, they don't. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you very much. Eh, Gisela, please. Number two. Do Oneida and Sally. No, sorry. Do Oneida and Nelly is like a tongue twister, right? Como trabalengua. Like, like you say, el narizón de la narizonería, right? Okay. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Gisela? No, they don't. No, they don't sell antivirus. Oh, no, they don't because uh, Oneida chicas install the antivirus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, no, they don't. Esta sí está más clara, ¿verdad? Aquí sí está más clara. La de Francisco la sentí yo toda rara, ¿no? Software. Sí, porque Oneida sí crea software, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok, good. Now let's continue. So, do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? No, they don't. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? No, they don't. Ok, number three. Eh, let me see. Email, please. Inner. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, they don't. No, they don't. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No, they don't. Okay. Yes, because no. Here in this case, re doesn't receive money. Uh -huh. So, no, they don't. Thank you. Nice. Number four. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? This is for uh, Margarita, please. Um, Let's go. Write reports. Re they, I repeat the question. Do Ricardo and Max, Ricardo and Max, write reports? Don't they? No. No. No, they? Pues, no puedo pronunciar esta la res, res, Ok, right report. Eh, está igual de confusa como la de Francisco, mire, porque aquí Ricardo sí escribe reportes. ¿eh? Ajá. Pero Max no. Entonces, yo siento que este ejercicio está algo un poco confuso, ¿verdad? Ah. Uh, si quieren, hagamos una cosa. Yo voy a preguntar mejor, ¿sí? Yo voy a crear las preguntas para que no, no estemos ahí eh, adivinando, ¿verdad? So, eh, Margarita. ¿Does Oneida create software? Yes. 
Yes, she does or no, she doesn't? No. Does Oneida create software? Yes, she does or no, she doesn't? Yes, she doesn't. Yes, she does. Repeat, yes, please. Does. Yes. Yes. She does. She does. Good. Now, let me see. Mm. Yes. Who's this? Mm. Maria, right? Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, Maria, thank you. Thank you very much. Pay attention, Hello. Maria. Uh, okay. Does Max receive money from sales? Yes, he mm -hmm, does. Mm -hmm. Look, look, look. Don't, right? Mm, does excuse Max me. Pinto <laughs> receive money from sales? No. no. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Very good. O sea, creo que así está más fácil. ¿verdad? Yo invento las preguntas y ahí vamos viendo uno por uno. Okay. Let's continue. Eh, Rebeca, please. Does Nelly, does Nelly sell computer programs? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Excellent. Okay, good. Wilfredo, does Ricardo Mata decide what to buy? Does Ricardo Mata decide what to buy? El que decide que hay que comprar? Uh, yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Ricardo Mata? Oh, sorry. No, no. Sorry. Ricardo Mata. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Very good. Whew. A little complicated. Hi, teacher. Right? Good night. Good night. Who is it? Excuse me for time. Okay, no problem. Eh, okay. Voy a pasar rapidito que ya pase la lista oficial, ¿verdad? Ok, por ahí tenemos okay, al, a un angelito, ¿verdad? Con Rebeca. <laughs> Good night. Yes. Good night. <laughs> What's his name, Rebeca? ¿Cuál es el nombre de su chico? Mateo. His Mateo. Name is Mateo. Okay. Good night, Mateo. <laughs> ok. <saliendo>. Silvia. <laughs> Doralicia, Eric, present. Uh, sorry? Present. Uh, Doralicia, right? Present. Good. Good. Sí. Hector. Hector. Imer. Ah, Imer, si sí, lo hemos tomado en cuenta, sorry. Irving. Present. Present. Present teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Jose Antonio? Jose Roberto? Jose Roberto? Present teacher. Good, good. And Alexis? Oscar? Armando? Okay, good. Now let's continue, right? Let's continue. Here we have, again, yes, no questions. Yes, no question. Look. Now, we are going to create yes, no question and answer, right? Vamos a crear estas preguntas, okay? Y las vamos a responder, so. These are the same. Remember the structure, right? Vamos a recordar la estructura, okay? First, we have the auxiliary, right? Primero tenemos el auxiliar. Do or that, right? Luego tenemos el sujeto y después el verbo. So, do I get up early? Me levanto temprano. In my case, yes, right. Yes, I do. Right? Do you call other companies? Yes, you do or no, you don't. Do they transport the product? Yes, they do. No, they don't. And do we check the policies? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Right? Again. El auxiliar, el sujeto y el verbo. Y respondemos con yes, I do, yes, they do, no, they don't, no, we don't, etc., etc., right? Ok. Eh, Eric, la respuesta es sí. Sí, Eric. Ok. Continue. Now we're going to do the next, right? We are going to create questions similar to this, preguntas similares a estas, right? 
using the words in parentheses. What are the words in parentheses? This one, right? You work in company, right? So, solo vamos a ir poniendo el auxiliar, luego tomamos el sujeto, el verbo y aquí la respuesta, ¿ok? Aquí la respuesta, ¿ok? Good. So, let's make the first one. Hagamos la primera, ¿les parece? Do. Do. Do you work, work, you in, company? work in a company? Ok. Uh -huh. Now, the answer could be yes or no, right? Depending on the person. Depends, depending on the person, right? Because if the person works in a store, eh, si alguien trabaja en una tienda, entonces la respuesta va a ser no, right? Si alguien de ustedes trabaja en transporte, entonces la respuesta va a ser no. Okay? Good. And number two, right? Do. 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 Do they check product? Do they check product? Good, etc., etc., right? I'm going to give you one minute. Le voy a dar un minutito. Vamos a poner aquí el reloj de arena. Tic tac, tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. Ok. Vamos a comenzar, ¿sí? Ok. Voy a silenciar un ratito y los dejo trabajando unos dos minutitos, ¿sí? Hagamos todas estas preguntas. Son cinco preguntas, ¿ok? Good. Let's do it. Ok, time is over. Se nos acabó el tiempo en el reloj de arena. Time is over, right? Good. Now we're going to start like this, right? Question number one. You made the question and uh, it's going to be Candy, right? Candy me va a hacer la primera pregunta, ¿sí? Ok. And uh, Carmen will answer, right? Carmen la va a contestar. Pero la respuesta que quiero es una de verdad, ¿sí? Si Carmen trabaja en una compañía, va a decir, yes, I do. O no, you don't, right? Yes. Ok. Cuando decimos they, pues estamos hablando de ellos, ¿verdad? Este, y aquí contestaríamos con las personas que trabajan en su compañía, ¿sí? Uh, y en esta pues igual sería en nosotros ¿no? ok vamos a hacer algo más sencillo porque este aquí está un poco diversificada las preguntas entonces todas las vamos a hacer con you ¿les parece? en lugar de decir do they vamos a decir do you do you para practicar ¿sí? ok Todo, en lugar de decir Mileni Pablo I, we, they eh, todas vamos a hacer con you ¿Ok? Muy bien. Entonces comienza haciendo la primera pregunta. 
Candy and Karen, okay? Yes. Go ahead, please. Do you work company? No, I don't. Oh, okay, excellent. No, you don't. Very good. Right. Next one. Eh, Doralicia to Eric. Solo que en lugar de they, Doralicia, aquí me va a usar you. Okay? Eh, en la, en la en, one. En la dos, en la dos. Number two. Yo le ayudo a Doralicia, yo le ayudo. Do you... Sí. La pregunta es para Eric. ¿Ok? Déjeme ver, Eric, sí. They... No, do you. Do... En lugar de decir they, vamos a decir do you. Do you... Do you check producto. Ajá, ok, Product. excelente. Now, Eric, please. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Excellent. Very good. No sé si los estoy confundiendo porque quiero hacer más fácil las preguntas y más personalizadas. Por eso estoy cambiando. <laughs> okay. Now, in this case, it's going to be Esmeralda to Fátima. Number three. Instead of say Esmeralda, instead of say we, we're going to say do, do you, right? Do you. Okay, go ahead, please. Do you list a customer? Customers yes, are I do. Yes, you do. Yes, excellent. Do. Good, excellent. Number four, in this case, is going to be Francisco to Gisela, please. Number four. Okay, number four. Number four, please. But, but don't say I, say you. You. Yeah. Do you buy a new material by the bus? Do you check for... No, yes, I, I don't. No, you don't. Okay, good. Otra persona es la encargada ahí, ¿verdad, Gisela? Yeah. Good. Now, Imer to Irving, please. Number five. Do you? Do you testing law? No, I don't. No, you don't. Okay. No se encarga de enseñar los lobos. Irving. Okay. Good. So, and it says create a questionnaire, right? Hacer un cuestionario igualito al que está aquí. Ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Ya lo hicimos. Pero lo que me interesa es... Eh, si entienden la estructura. Por lo, por lo visto, en la práctica ya la usamos. Pero si entendemos la estructura aquí, de las preguntas de sí, ¿no? Ya le dijiste que eso le va a tocar ahora. Yes. Ok, por ahí tengo un micrófono encendido, ¿verdad? Candy creo que lo tiene encendido, Candy. <ríe> ok, gracias, gracias, Candy. Bueno, no hay pregunta entonces. Ok. So, vamos a comenzar. Este, esto nos quedó de ver ayer. Vamos a comenzar con la clase de este día. ¿Sí? Ok. Vamos a eh, practicar con los ejercicios, pero vamos a comenzar con la presentación de PowerPoint. Dime a second here. Ahorita vamos a, a compartir la presentación de este día. ¿Yes? Ok. Give me a second. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, English for work. June 1st, right? Daily routines, activities practice, right? Daily routines. So, let's read the, the objective, please. Imer, help me, please. Léame el objetivo, Imer, para este día. I will be able to ask partners questions about someone's else daily routines and pues say what todo they, lo que do. Yo te di. they do. Mira ese gato. Ok, thank you. Por ahí, Candy, se nos volvió a encender el micrófono, Candy. <laughs> ok, thank you, Candy. Ok. 
Now, let's start with these daily routines at your work, right? Daily routines at work. Daily routines at work. So listen, please. Know the policies, know the regulations, help workers, help people, help the company, advertise the company, design softwares, develop softwares, answer the phone, make phone calls, right? Good, now repeat after me, please. Know the policies, know the regulations, help workers, help people, help the company, advertise the company, design softwares, develop softwares, answer the phone, make phone calls. Okay, good. Now, any questions about uh, vocabulary? Teacher, how do you say? Teacher, how do you say regulation? Teacher, how do you say advertise? Teacher, how do you say design, okay? Questions about vocabulary? Questions about vocabulary class? No. No, okay, good. Now we're going to practice making affirmative sentence, all right? So you're going to help me making affirmative sentences. Okay, for example, I know the policies. Or you can say, you know the policies. You know. Uh, we know the policies. She knows the policies, okay? Etc. Etc. So we're going to practice with no. affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences, okay? Okay, let's start. Give me a second here. We're going to start with candy, please. Policies are políticas, las políticas o reglas de la empresa, right? Se puede las políticas de la empresa, okay? So you can say, I know the policy. O puede decirme, they know the policies. They know the policies, or we know the policies, right? They know the policies. They know the policies. Cling! Correct. <laughs> now, please, uh, Carmen, please. Know the regulations. Know the regulations. Dicha regulation es de regulación o cómo? Regulaciones, sí. ¿Se puede las regulaciones de la compañía? No. Or you can say, I know the regulations. <laughs> they know the regulation. She knows the regulation. My co-worker, mi compañero, <laughs> te conoce, conoce las regulaciones, ¿no? Huh? You yes. can use any subject. Puedo usar cualquier sujeto aquí. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, she, she, I, she, I do. She knows. She knows. She knows the regulation. Okay. La regulación entiendo yo que son las leyes o las, las mismas. Sí, el reglamento que... interno pudiera en... ser. Dentro de la, de la compañía, ¿verdad? Ok, let's move, please. Let's move. Doralicia, please. Help workers. Hágame una oración afirmativa con esta, con esta actividad que hacen. No sé si ustedes ayudan a los trabajadores. Si les toca estar en una oficina ayudándole a los trabajadores. Ok. 
So, Doralicia, please, hágame una oración usando esta, este verbo. Esta um, what? Sería what va? No, no. Sería I, you, he, they. Cualquier sujeto. O María, Pedro, Juan. Ajá. Recuerden la regulación, la perdón, regulación, la, la estructura de los verbos, de las oraciones en, en, en inglés. Es sujeto, verbo y complemento. Sujeto, verbo y complemento, ¿sí? Ok, Doralice, aquí invénteme un sujeto. He, she, they, cualquier sujeto. Ah, ah pues sería he. Ajá, well, he. He's well working. He helps. He helps. Help, help. Working. Workers. Very good. He helps workers. Ok, ahí vamos, poquito a poquito. Eh, Eric, please. I help people. I help people. That's it, please. Excellent. Very good. Now, help the company. Eh, Esmeralda, please. She held a company. Excellent. Advertise. Do you know what is advertise? Advertise is publicitar la compañía. Advertise the company, right? Fatima, please. She advertised the company. He advertises the company. Good. Uh, Francisco, please. Design softwares. You design software. Okay, very good. Uh, Gisela, please. Develop software. Desarrollar. De realizar software, right? Uh, uh, Edward, develop software. Good. Excellent. Uh, email, please. Answer the phone. You answer the phone. Good. And Irving, make phone calls. You may phone calls. Good, excellent. Good. Attention. Todas estas actividades son las que ustedes hacen en su lugar de trabajo. Algunas sí, otras no. ¿Sí? Y puede ser que aquí hay actividades que ustedes hacen que yo no, le, no he puesto, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Entonces, aquí es, podemos hacer que ustedes lo hacen o no lo hacen. ¿Sí? Ahora bien, vamos a ver otras actividades. Yes. Write reports, send reports, send emails, arrange meetings, carry boxes, carry products, keep track, repair computers, ask for assistance. So repeat after me, please. Write reports, send reports. Yeah. Send emails. Arrange meetings. Carry boxes. Carry products. Keep track. Repair computers. Ask for assistance. Good. Any question about this? ¿Hay alguna pregunta, alguna palabra, palabra que no entienden en este vocabulario? Que um, How do you say it? right? Repair. Repair is reparar, right? Repair, reparar, repair computer. So you can say fix computer. It's the same. Reparar computadora, fix or repair computers. Good. Any other question? Um, how, how do you say? How do you say is carry boxes? Okay. Llevar, cargar, acarrear, caja, right? Sí. Uh, that's pues right. Alguno de ustedes trabaja en, en una fábrica, no sé, ¿verdad? Y hay que llevar productos o cajas o ropa, no sé, o, o partes de motor, en fin, no sé, ¿verdad? Carry, llevar, acarrear, ¿sí? 
Okay. Okay. Good. Arrange meeting, for example, right? Arreglar reuniones puede ser que a ustedes les toque arreglar una reunión con los trabajadores, con las secretarias, con los recepcionistas, en fin, no sé, right? Arrange meetings. Good. And ask for assistance. A ustedes les toca pedir ayuda. No sé si eh, eh, hay que reparar el internet de la compañía, electricidad, agua, etcétera, etcétera, right? Todas estas son actividades rutinarias que nosotros hacemos en nuestros lugares de trabajo, ¿sí? Me imagino que algún, alguno de ustedes hace un, alguna de estas, ¿sí? Keep track. Keep track quiere decir llevar el control, llevar el registro, ¿sí? Si alguno de ustedes es contador, puede llevar el registro de las cuentas contables de la compañía. Keep track of the finances, right? O llevan el, el control de la entrada del producto o de la salida del producto o de las ventas del producto, right? Keep track, llevar el control de cualquier actividad, ¿verdad? Good. Ahora vamos a hacer algo especial. En lugar de decir afirmativo, vamos a decir negativo, ¿sí? I don't write reports. You don't write reports. He doesn't write reports. My brother doesn't write reports. Firulais, that, okay. <laughs> Etc., etc., right? So let's continue with eh, Jose Antonio, please. Jose Antonio, ya está en clase? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. okay, good. Jose Antonio. She Give doesn't me an write report. Negative. Negative. She doesn't write report. Excellent, also, right? Send reports. Margarita? No, no doesn't. Ah, pero Bajú, ¿quién es el que no lo hace? Ah. Mi compañero, mi hermano, yo, ella, él. ¿Quién no, quién no lo hace? Um. Tiene que poner un sujeto ahí, cualquier sujeto. ¿Yo? 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 ¿Escuché bien? ¿Yo? ¿Yo? Ah, ok. ¿Yo? ¿Yo sen? You send report. Good, excellent. You, ah, no, no, sorry, we're negative. Hoy ando bien despistado. Estamos en negativo, ¿verdad? You don't sería, ¿sí? You, you don't, don't, you don't send report. reports. Yes, you don't. Es que el anterior era el afirmativo. Este estamos con negativo, ¿ok? You don't send reports. Good, thank you. you Now, let me see who's next. Uh, Maria, please. Send emails, Maria. <coughs> Negative, right? Estamos en negativo. Hello. Hello, Maria. Uh, she doesn't send emails. Okay, thank you, Maria. And Rebecca, please arrange meetings. Uh, my husband doesn't arrange meeting. Good. Wilfredo, please carry boxes. He doesn't carry boxes. Uh, Misael, carry products. Misael? Mr. Martinez Martinez. Sí, Ok. Entonces vamos a regresar otra vez al listado. Eh, Candy, please. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Hágame una oración negativa con esa. Carry products. She doesn't carry products. Good. Ella no carrea, ella no, no lleva, no carga los productos. Good. Now, Carmen, please repair, keep track, sorry, keep track. Yeah, uh, he doesn't keep track. He doesn't keep track. Perfect. Repair computers. Dora Alicia? Repair computers, Dora Alicia? She, she doesn't repair. 
Prepare. Prepare. Com computers. Com Computer, right? Thank you. Computer. Perfect, Computer. right? Okay, then uh, Eric, please ask for ask for assistance. He doesn't ask for assistance. Good. Ask is pedir, solicitar, right? Okay. Good. Any, any question? Hay alguna de estas actividades que realizan ustedes en su trabajo? Les toca enviar correos, llevar productos, llevar control de algo, reparar algo. Yes? Okay. Very good. Let's continue, right? Now we're going to the, to the last one. Vamos al último listado. Install programs, sell products, exchange information, buy new merchandise, merchandise, receive money, decide what to buy, transport products, fix cars, or repair car, right? Now repeat after me, please repeat after me. Install programs. Install programs. Por ahí escucho algunos eh, micrófonos encendidos, si me hacen el favor, ¿verdad? Eh, lástima que la tecnología no nos permite, quisiera escucharlos a todos a la vez, ¿verdad? <ríe> Pero se nos van a cruzar las voces, lastimosamente, sí. Ok, sell products. Repeat, please. Sell products. Exchange information. Buy new merchandise. Buy new merchandise. Receive money. Decide what to buy. Transport problems. Fix cars. Okay, good. Now we're going to make, we made now affirmative, right? Ya hicimos oraciones afirmativas con eso, ¿sí? Uh, hicimos oraciones negativas y ahora vamos a hacer preguntas. Do you? Okay? And uh, we're going to make this. Esmeralda is going to make the question to Fátima. Esmeralda me va a hacer la primera pregunta aquí con do you? Yes, Esmeralda? Y, yes, teacher. yes, ok. Y Fátima me, le va a contestar. Si ella lo hace, le va a decir, yes, I do. Y si ella no instala el programa, pues le va a decir, no, I don't. ¿Sí? Ok. Go ahead, please. Do you install programas? No, I don't. Ok. Francisco, tu Gisela. Sell products. Gisela, do you sell products? I don't. No. No. No? No, I don't. Good, excellent. Now, uh, email please to Irving. Do you exchange information? Yes, I don't. Yes, I? I don't. Yes, I do or yes, I don't? Yes, I do. Sorry. Excellent. That's it, right? José Antonio, tu Margarita. Vamos a cambiar ahí el, el patrón. José Antonio, tu Margarita. Margarita. Repeat, please. Repeat, José Antonio. Do, do you buy new merchandise? Mar, Margarita. No, I do. No, I do. No, I don't. Perdón, no, I don't. Uh, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. That's okay, right? Now, uh, and then, Jose Roberto, tu Maria. Do you recite money? Yes, I do. Okay, very good. And decide what to buy, right? Rebecca, tu Misael. Eh, Misael está conectado. Me pareció que me contestó al principio de la clase, Misael. No. Ok, so, Rebeca, tu William. Tu William. <ríe> tu Wilfredo, I'm sorry. <ríe> ok. Excuse me, Wilfredo. 
<laughs> Do you decide what to buy? No, I don't. No, you don't. Okay. Very good. And to finish, transfer products. In this case, Carmen to candy. Carmen to candy, right? Transfer products. Do you transfer product? No, I don't. Okay. Fix car, right? Uh, Eric to Doralicia. Eric to Doralicia. Do you fix the cars? Yes, I do or no, I don't, Doralicia? Yes, I do. Repara carros. No creo, ¿verdad, Doralicia? Repara carros en su compañía. Yes, I do or no, I don't. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Repeat, please, Doralicia. No, I don't. No. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Any extra question? Ok, ¿qué otras actividades hacemos en su compañía? ¿Alguien que quiera participar? Otras actividades, son bastantes, ¿eh? Son tres listados, ¿no? Pero aún así me imagino que hay una diversidad de actividades que hacemos en el trabajo, ¿sí? ¿Ok? ¿Tienen alguna otra actividad que querramos compartir con el grupo? Teacher. Ajá. Elaborar planillas. Ah, to make payrolls. Permite, vamos a... Aquí vamos a escribir. Y después lo borramos. Make payrolls. Ahí dice, ¿eh? make o elaborate o create, crear, hacer, controlar, keep track, puede poner keep track of payrolls, llevar el control de las planillas, ok, o registrarlas, register, registrarlas, hacerlas, make, ok, change, cambiarlas, change, change the payroll, cambiar las planillas, right? Esto es bien importante porque... Estamos hablando del pago a los empleados, ¿verdad? Good. Otra actividad que hagan en su trabajo, que no esté aquí. ¿Cómo decir las actividades que ustedes hacen en su trabajo? ¿eh? Vamos a ver quién se atreve. Teacher, how do you say uh, facturación en inglés? Facturación. Uh -huh. eh, Create, o make, o, o give invoices. Invoices, right? Cuando hablamos de invoices, estamos hablando de algo más formal. ¿Sí? Más formal. Eh, Permítame un segundo. Eh, Irving, ya, ya se, le, eh, uh, se le arregló el micrófono, Irving. Bueno, y Héctor, bienvenido, Héctor. Bienvenido. Ya vamos a pasar al listado y me, me levanta la manita, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, Irving, veo que tiene problemitas con el internet. No se preocupe, Irving, si me escucha, este, estabilice la, la internet y después me manda un mensaje que, que ya está estabilizado, ¿verdad? Sí, no hay problema. Yo sé que a veces falla y... Y yo les pregunto y no me oyen, pero, pero ahí están, ¿verdad? Ahí están, sí. Ok. Good. Now we're going to, make, to ask for, for more eh, routines, right? Vamos a hablar de otras rutinas. Yes? Now at home. Héctor, eh, ya le tomé asistencia, pero tenía otra pregunta ahí usted. No. It's about your question, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Do you uh, have a question? Tell so me. You, yes, you were talking about to, to participation 
uh -huh. and give another routine during the uh, work. Yeah, yeah, yes. Give me one example in your in your job. What what other routine do you do, uh, Hector? Okay, for example, during the work, I vote to take decision. Ah, okay. So you participate in making decisions in your company. Yeah. Oh, I don't know sure. if I don't know if you listen to me very well because the, the signal is too bad no, no. here. I can listen. But, but I said no, no, no. I listen. Yeah, no problem. But yeah, I, I said I vote to take decision. I vote. No, vote. no I, I don't hear you. I vote. don't Votar. I vote. Uh, va, yeah. Va, va. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I write my hand. I write my hand in order to take decisions. That's Something okay. Like that. so th that's it. You vote. I have a vote. Yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, problem, the problem is about the sign of teacher. I'm sorry about okay. it. Okay. No, that's okay. That's okay, Hector. Very good. And so you have important decisions in your company. That's nice, right? Okay, now let's continue with more daily routines, but in so. this case, at home, right? In casita, at home. Get dressed, sorry, get up, get dressed, take a shower, brush my teeth, comb my hair, shave, put up on makeup, for woman only, right? <laughs> put on makeup, eat breakfast, come home, Make dinner, study, watch TV, go to bed. Now, please repeat us to me. Get up. Get dressed. Take a shower. Brush my teeth. Comb my hair. Shave, put on makeup, eat breakfast, come home, make dinner, study, watch TV, go to bed. Good, now questions, how do you say makeup? How do you say teeth? How do you say comb? Questions, questions, please. No questions? How do you say brush my teeth? Brush my teeth. Oh, Brush my teeth, okay? How do you say comb my hair? Oh. Brush my teeth, comb my hair. Okay. Good, other question? Another question? Teacher. Teacher. Uh-huh, yes, yes, only one, please. Vamos a ver, que tengo dos participaciones a la vez, porque vamos a empezar con Oscar. Oscar, please. Uh -huh. How do you say? Thank you. Uh, how do you say put on my put put on put on makeup? Put on up. Put on up. Put on. Makeup. Makeup. Good. It's ponerse maquillaje. Only for women, Oscar. Oh. Only for women. Okay. Solo para mujer, right? <laughs> Good. Okay. Eh, Gracias. Let me, see. let me see. Anybody else? Permítame que a veces me cuesta ubicar. Okay. Maria, please. Maria. Teacher, tengo una pregunta. ¿En qué otras acciones puedo usar el put on? Put on, put on cream, por ejemplo, ponerse crema. Put on sunscreen, ponerse protector para el sol. Ponerse. 
Mm, put on uh, what? A hell for the hair, right? Put on. Does it? Es como aplicarse. Aplicarse algo al no, cuerpo. Mm -hmm. En este okay, caso, para, para las chicas, pues make up, ¿verdad? El, el maquillaje, right? Uh -huh. Good. Mm -hmm. Aunque hay ciertos. Thank you. Que también. <ríe> sin comentario ahí, ¿verdad? <ríe> Okay. Good. Any other questions? Thank you. You're welcome, right? Okay, we're going to make an activity, right? Give me a second. Okay. Uh, I will make mimics, right? I will mine. I will mine and I will ask Richard, some student. Yes, yes. Another question? Hay otra pregunta por ahí? Do you have questions? Hector, no, no. I still see your, your hand up, Hector. No. I heard so, somebody say teacher. Alguien me dijo teacher. No. Participation teacher, sorry. No. Sorry, Hector. Now I can hear you. I can hear you. Hector, hello. Here I am again. Problems with the internet. Problems with the internet. I'm sorry. Vamos a compartir otra vez la pantalla. Yeah, I have some. Permítame, Hector, que yo no sé si. I, I don't know if it is my internet or your internet, Hector. Give me a second. Could, okay. be, could be my one. Could be my one. So I, I disactive my internet and activate my, my data. Good. Now, please. What is the question, Hector? Do you no, have I, I, I was telling you, teacher, I was telling you that it was the last participation. I hand up my, mm, my hand yes, and yes. I forget to lower my hand. You forgot? To, Sorry. Uh, okay, put your hand to down. Lower my right? hand. Good, that's it. Let's of continue. Course. Let's continue. Thank you, Hector. Thank you. Now uh, we're going to take the attendance. Second time. Vamos a tomar asistencia por segunda vez. Are you ready? Ready? Here we go. Silvia. No, Silvia today. Oh, okay. Candy. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Carmen. Carmen. Hi, teacher. Good. Alicia. Hi, teacher. Okay. Eric. Present. Present. Okay. Doralicia and Eric. Present, right? Esmeralda. Hi, teacher. Fatima. Hello, teacher. Francisco. Hi, teacher. Gisela. Present, teacher. Hector. Here we are. Good. Imer. Present. Irving. Present, teacher. Jose Antonio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Eh, Jose Roberto. Present, teacher. Margarita. Present, teacher. María. Present. Alexis. Present. Ok, welcome, Alexis. Eh, Oscar, Armando. Present, present. Good, good, thank you. Rebecca. Present. Wilfredo. Wilfredo. Present. Good. Eh, Misael. Present, yes, yes, Wilfredo. Now, Misael. Misael, no, okay, good. So let's continue, right? Now we're going to do something. I will make, um, um, I will mine, voy a hacer una mimica, right? And I'm going to ask some specific students and you tell me what am I doing, right? Okay? So I'm going to start with uh, Wilfredo. Look at me, Wilfredo. Okay. From this activity, right? De todas estas actividades. What, are, what am I doing? Look. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, now. 
you are watching TV. Excellent. Watch TV, right? Good. Good. Next one, please. Uh, Rebecca. Pay attention, Rebecca. Get up. Ah. Yeah. Uh -huh. What is it? Again. Go to bed. Go to bed. Very good, right? Now, let me see. Uh, Oscar, please. Oscar, ready? Okay. Watch TV. Ah, permítame. Uh, shave. Shave. Very good. Excellent, right? Okay. Uh, Alexis, please. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Uh -huh, Alexi, again. Eh, no logro, no logré ver porque se me puso otra persona en la pantalla. Ah, ok. Eh, porque... Si gusta, apagamos todos los micrófonos. Para que no aparezca en su pantalla, solo la del teacher, ¿sí? Ok, again. Look. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, it's, it's difficult, right? Take a shower. I will put a, a better, another one, right? Next one, look. Comb your hair. Comb your hair. Good. And let me see who's next. Uh, Maria, pay attention, Maria. Teacher, no sé si soy yo el que está teniendo problemas con el internet. Fíjese que yo también estoy teniendo problemas. Eh, vamos a hacer una revisión. Eh, Todos me escuchan. Perfect, teacher. Perfect, ok. Eh, sí, eh, a Héctor le estaba fallando también y a mí me sacó. Sí, lo que pasa es que, ha estado que, pasa fallando. que a veces se le mira como cortado. Ah. Ha estado fallando y se detiene la imagen por ratos. Ah, ok. Bueno, entonces como que esta actividad no... ¿Y me ven la imagen? ¿Pueden ver mi Ahorita imagen? Sí. Ahorita sí. Sí. Sí, sí. pero hay, hay como ratito que, que falla. Ah, ok. Ojalá que no sea la mía, porque ya mandé a revisar y todo está bien. Eh, aquel día les dije que era 50 gigas, pero no es, no es 50 megabytes, se llama. Porque tecnología no sé nada, pero sí lo vinieron a revisar y en mi, en mi casa sí está funcionando bien, ¿verdad? Pero sí. Es too advanced. Nada, yeah. Pero aún así me falla, miren, ya me sacó. Ya me Teacher, sacó. yo lo oigo eh, cortado. ¿Me voy en cortado? Yes. Bueno, vamos a esperar a que se estabilice, pero entonces voy a hacerlo lento la actividad, ¿sí? La última. This is for, for María. María, can, can you see me? Yes. Yes, ok. What am I doing? ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Study. Study, correct. Correct, very good. So, now, let's go to the next one, right? Free time routines, free time routines, free time routines. Okay, now in this case, we're going to talk about what do you do in your free time? Cuando estamos libres, ¿qué cosas hacemos? Yes? Okay. Exercise. Up and down. Up and down. Exercise. Listen to music. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Take a nap. Teacher. Yes. So I think in the fourth one, it needs one letter. In which one? Let me see. Uh, exercise is in the fourth one. Wow, yes, you're right. <coughs> yes, you're right. Is go out for dinner. Yes. 
I'm sorry, right? Let me see. Um, good. Alexis, ya recibí su mensaje y sí, me parece que todos estamos teniendo problemas. No importa la capacidad del internet que tengamos, pero nos está dando problemas. Lo que voy a hacer es hablar más, más lento para que me escuchen, ¿sí? Ok, next one. Read. Check media. Internet. Eh, I mean, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, Snapchat, etc. etc. Check media, right? Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Visit friends, right? Visitar a la cherada. Eh? Visit friends. Now, repeat after me, please. Exercise. Listen to music. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Take a nap. Read. Check media. Go to the movies. Visit friends. Okie dokie. Now, more activities. More activity, right? Household shore routines. Household shores means eh, que hacer domésticos. Que hacer domésticos, okay? Eh, por ahí andan vendiendo tamales, vamos a disculpar <laughs> que se fil filtran todos los sonidos ahí, ok. Household shore routines. Wash the dishes. Clean the house. Do the laundry. Take out the garbage. Go shopping. Dust. Sweep. And mop. Questions? How do you say Dos. Dos. Dos is like the, like the sun. Dos in the wind. Polvo en el viento, right? So, dos is polvo. Entonces, quiere decir cuando digo yo, hay dos que ando limpiando el polvo. Yes? A veces en la mesa, ¿no? O, o en las ventanas, ¿no? So, you say, hay dos. Good. Any other questions? Hay dos. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, what does sweep mean? Sweep is look. Barrer. Oh, barrer. <laughs> okay, oh, yes. You. And mop, this is not Ministerio de Obras Públicas, no, right? Mop is eh, trapear. I mop. Trapear. Really... trapear. Mop. Wilfredo, how do you say take out the garbage in Spanish, Wilfredo? Take out the garbage. Uh -huh. I don't know, teacher. Sacar. I guess. Sacar ah, la the basura, garbage, right? The, Sacar la basura. La basura. La basura. It's, it's, it's take, out the, take out the garbage. It's something to carry out the garbage. No, carry out the garbage is also acceptable. Carry out the garbage or take out the garbage, right? Margarita, how do you say do the laundry in Spanish? Lavar la ropa, right? Lavation of the rotation. Lavar la ropa. Do the laundry, right? Good. Esmeralda, how do you say? How do you say? There's, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise. There are so many people talking. Okay. Uh, vamos a apagar los micrófonos. Todos. Eso. Ok, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, let me see. Esmeralda, how do you say uh, go shopping in Spanish? Ir de compras. Ir de compras, ir al super, ir con la ropa, etc. Right? Ok, good. Now let's go to the next. 
Oh, sorry, that's it, right? Eso es todo entonces. So again, good. This is uh, daily routines you do at your job, right? These are daily routines you do at home. These are free time routine, right? Cuando tenemos tiempo libre. Okay? And these are que haceres, right? Sometimes you say, oh, I don't like it. Mm. I don't like wash the dishes. I don't like clean the house, right? But it's necessary to make it. It's necessary, right? Okay, now we are going to introduce a new topic. Let me see what time is it. Yes, we still have time. How to use frequency other, right? Good. Um, check it out these, right? Other, right? Chequemos todos estos adverbios. Okay, uh, always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never. What are frequency adverbs, okay? Listen. Frequency adverbs are the ones that show you the frequency of one activity. Todas estas actividades que vimos, right? A veces tienen una frecuencia, ¿no? Por ejemplo, eh, Levante la mano los que se bañan. Levante la mano los que se bañan. Los que se bañan solo los sábados, quiero ver. Ah, José Antonio, Wilfredo. <laughs> I'm kidding, estoy bromeando. But always, siempre nos bañamos. Bañamos, yes, always. Eh, los, los que desayunan, always. Yes. Pero puede ser que alguno de ustedes no desayune siempre. Bueno, ¿sabes? es que me encantan las cajas misteriosas de ah, todo tipo. Eso no, Carlos. Ahí está un el micrófono. Francisco, I think your, yours is. Ok, thank you, Francisco. Thank you very much. Ok. So, maybe you, you sometimes you do it your breakfast or sometimes not. So, this is usual, right? Or often, right? Or maybe you say, uh, mm, sometimes. Yes, most of the time, no, right? So you say sometimes, alguna vez, right? Y hay gente que pues casi nunca desayuna, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a decir, rarely, raramente, right? Y hay gente que pues definitivamente jamás, jamás desayuna, ¿no? Que, en mi opinión no, es, no está bien, ¿verdad? No. And notice that we go from zero to 100, right? Vamos de cero a 100. 100, uh, zero to 100, right? 100 is all the time, always, siempre. Siempre respiramos, siempre nos bañamos. Okay? Usualmente, usually, que anda ahí por un 90%. Okay? Usualmente. Often, frecuentemente, right? Es muy seguido, right? And sometimes, it's, mm, algunas pocas veces, ¿sí? Rarely es un 10%, digamos, un 5%, right, de veces que hacemos algo. Y never es que nunca lo hacemos, ¿ok? Now, where are you going to put the frequency adverb? ¿Dónde vamos a poner el adverb de frecuencia? Look, for example, I always run, right? Aquellos atletas del grupo que siempre salen en la mañana a correr, so I always run. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? So this is the place. Siempre lo vamos a poner antes del verbo, ¿eh? ¿Ok? Is necessary? Es necesario usar? No, no es necesario, ¿verdad? Solo cuando queremos comunicar la frecuencia con que hacemos algo. The frequency in what you do something, right? ¿Con qué frecuencia, eh, por ejemplo, lavan los trastes? Watch the dishes, right? ¿Con qué frecuencia hacen ejercicio? Exercise. ¿Con qué frecuencia eh, se bañan? Take a shower, right? ¿Con qué frecuencia eh, transport products, ¿no? sell products, install programs? ¿Con qué frecuencia hacen eso? ¿sí? Es la idea de, de los others of frequency. ¿okay? Now, we're going to make an exercise. Listen, these are some examples. I always wash the dishes. 
Siempre lavo los trastes. ¿Sí? Aunque aquí en mi casa digan lo contrario, pero siempre. I wash. I always wash. Uh, Are you a dishwasher? Uh, no. Uh, I do. With my hands. <laughs> with my hands, I do that, right? Yes. And she usually cleans the house. He often does the laundry, right? They sometimes take out the garbage. We rarely go shopping and you never dust, you see? Notice that the adverb of frequency or the frequency adverb is, go, is before the verb, antes del verbo, before the verb, right? Always wash, usually cleans, often does, etc. etc. And notice that in third person singular, we conserve the extra S in the verb, right? So we say, she usually cleans, right? Siempre vamos a conservar la S en el verbo, ¿sí? No me va a decir, she usually clean. No, it's she usually cleans, right? Cuando es tercera persona singular. This is the position, right? And I repeat, and you say, teacher, ¿y es necesario usar los adverbios de frecuente? No, only to show frequency, right? Solo cuando queremos demostrar eh, la frecuencia en una actividad. Now, let's make these sentences, please. And who's going to help me? Eh, Candy, please. Candy, in this sentence, he checks never email in the evening, right? Él siempre, él nunca, right? Se queda el, el email en las, en las noches, ¿sí? Pero, por favor, uh, Candy, Dígame si el adverbio de frecuencia... Bueno, primero identifiquemos el adverbio de frecuencia. Aquí es, number one, never. Number two, rarely. Number three, often. Number four, sometimes. Number five is always. Six, sometimes. Uh, seven, usually. And number eight, always, right? Ahí están identificados los adverbios de frecuencia. Okay. So you're going to do the next. Uh, me van a decir si la oración está correcta, right? Y aquí, bueno, me voy a salir del, para poder escribir. Give me a second, give me a second here. Okay, good. So if the sentence is correct, you're going to make a C, right? Vamos a poner una, una letra C aquí. Letter C, right? If the sentence is incorrect, right? We're going to make an I, right? Incorrect. ¿Sí? Y si está incorrecta, la vamos a corregir. Okay? Now, Candy, please. Yes. What is your opinion? Correct or incorrect? Correct. Is correct. Okay. Listen, please, Candy. I need you to identify the verb. ¿Podría identificarme el verbo, Candy? Never. No. The verb. El verbo. El verbo. The verb. Check. Ok. Sorry. sorry. Check, right? Ahora, dijimos que el adverbio de frecuencia siempre va a ir antes del verbo. ¿eh? Before. Ok. okay. Veámoslo aquí, mire. Before. Place the frequency adverbs before the verb. ¿eh? Y aquí está, antes de run, del verbo, ponemos el adverbio, ¿verdad? Ok. Now let's go to this. Ya identificó el verbo. El verbo es checks. ¿En dónde está el adverbio de frecuencia, Candy? ¿Antes o después está del verbo? Está después, está... No, está después, está incorrecto. Incorrect, right? Incorrect. Good. <laughs> So now, Candy, what is the correct sentence? Bueno, vamos a dejar que Carmen nos ayude. Sí, Candy. Carmen, please. Never. Okay. He, he, Carmen, he. Disculpe, teacher, que me levanté un momento. Ok, no hay problema. Okay. Este, acabamos de pasar una evaluación. Y a todos les puse 10, Carmen. <risa> Son bromas. Okay. No, estamos eh, viendo las oraciones de los adverbios de frecuencia, ¿sí? 
Okay. Habíamos dicho, Carmen, que lo, the adverbs of frequency, que los adverbios de frecuencia van antes del verbo, ¿sí? Exacto. Ok, y con Candy, ella me dijo que esta oración que está aquí está incorrecta, dice ella, ¿sí? La, 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 la uno. La one. La one, ah, sí. Okay. Ahora um, bien, yes, yo, quiero, yo quiero que usted me... Sí, ella tiene razón, está incorrecta, pero usted dígame cuál es la oración correcta, ¿sí? What is the correct sentence? Ok, Please. sería... Eh, he never chef email in the evening. Okie dokie, right? Number two, please. Doralicia. Correct or incorrect? Doralicia. <laughs> si quiere, Doralicia, dígame cuál es el verbo. ¿Cuál sería el verbo en el número dos? The verb. ¿Dora Alicia? ¿Me copia, Dora Alicia? Hello, hello. Bueno, vamos, creo que también está teniendo problemas con el internet, Dora Alicia. Entonces, eh, sí, sí. Yes, ahora, ahora sí, ok, Dora Alicia. Number, yes. number two, right? No, no. Yes, number two. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? What is the verb? Dora Alicia. Eh, sería. We rarely, Never. I'm sorry? Chip. Chip. No, estamos en la dos. En la dos estamos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. We eh, rarely eh. visit friends on weekends. En esta oración, Dora Alicia, ¿cuál es el verbo? Visit. Visit, muy bien. ¿Y cuál es el adverbio de frecuencia? What is the frequency adverb? Dora Alicia. We. No, we is the subject. We es el sujeto. Mm. Visit es el verbo. ¿Y cuál sería el adverbio de frecuencia? Se lo voy a poner mm. otra vez para que lo vean. Miren, always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never, right? Ok. ¿Cuál de esas palabras ve aquí en la número dos, Dora Alicia? Sería el we rarely. Rarely, very good, rarely, right? Ahora bien, Dora Alicia, is the correct, uh, the sentence, sorry, correct o incorrect? Entonces, ¿la oración está correcta o incorrecta? Está eh, correcta. Is correct. Okay, okay, right? Because the other frequency is before the verb is, right? Number three, please. Eric, correct or incorrect? Eric? They listen often to music in the afternoon. Correct or incorrect? Mr. Flores Linares? Okay. Esmeralda, please. Number three, Esmeralda. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. And, right? So what is the correct sentence, Esmeralda? They often listen to music in the afternoon. Good. They often listen to music in the afternoon. Perfect. That's it, right? Now, uh, Fatima, please. Number four. Number four is correct or incorrect? Correct. Is correct. She goes sometime. Okay, identify the verb, right? Correct. Eh, uh, let me see. Ya me confundí, perdón. Eh, estaba hablando con Fátima, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí, Fátima. Okay, muy bien. Uh, <laughs> Fátima, identify the verb, Fátima. Quiero que me identifique el verbo. Y number four. 
¿Cuál sería el verbo? Sería goes. Goes. Ajá. Go. Y, y el adverbio está antes del verbo. Is before the verb, Fátima. Está después. Sería ah, incorrect. Incorrect. And, right? Incorrect. Incorrect. So what is the correct sentence, Fátima? Make the correction, please. Sería she summit summiting summertime goes to parties on Friday evening. Evening. Okay, algunas veces se va al chongueño y al por la chapultepec, va. <laughs> okay. Good. So that's it, right? And number five, please. Uh, in this case, is Francisco. Tell me, Francisco, with number number five, please. Hmm. The number five is incorrect. Because incorrect, right? So, what is the correct sentence, Francisco? Oscar and his wife always go dancing. Okay. Oscar and his wife always go. Correct. And number six. Number six, Gisela. Correct or incorrect? Uh, the sentence is correct, teacher. Okie dokie. That's it, right? Number seven. Number seven. Hector, please help me with number seven, please. Hector? Yes, teacher, I'm here, but the problem is that I can't see the screen. You cannot see the screen. Ooh. So I will read the yeah. sentence for you. Pay attention. And then, then you tell me, correct or incorrect, right? My friends but play usually soccer on Sundays. It's incorrect. Incorrect. It's incorrect. So what is the correct sentence? I will read again. Uh, My friends play usually soccer on Sunday. Okay, the, the correct one is... Uh... My friend usually plays soccer on Sunday. Very good. Thank you, Hector. Now, uh, okay. email, please. Number seven. Number eight, sorry. Is incorrect. Incorrect. So, we all number work. eight, right? We exercise in the morning at all. And incorrect. So, what is the correct sentence, please, email? We always exercise in the morning, always. Uh -huh. What is the correct? ¿Cuál es la oración correcta entonces? We? We always uh -huh. exercise in the morning, always. In the morning. In the morning. And that's it, right? Okay, right. Now, everybody, repeat after me, please. He never checks email in the evening. We rarely visit friends on weekends. They often listen to music in the afternoon. She sometimes goes to parties on Friday evening. Oscar and his wife always go dancing. I sometimes take a nap after lunch. Tomar una siesta, right? Tomar siesta, take a nap. My friends usually play soccer on Sunday. My friends usually play soccer on Sunday. We exercise, sorry, we always exercise in the morning. We always exercise in the morning. Good. Any extra question? Preguntas, preguntas? Okay, good. Now let's go to the last display here. Look. Other expression. Uh, Héctor, ¿y ahorita me puede ver esta pantalla, Héctor? Ok, yes. I yes, you can see it. Ok, thanks God, right? Again, it's the internet, which is not working well. So, now, 
Yeah, could be a teacher. Good. Thank you, Hector. Now, listen. Frequency hours show the frequency, right? But there are other time expressions that show the frequency too. Hay otras expresiones que también me, me, me demuestran frecuencia con lo que yo hago, ¿sí? Ok. But these expressions normally are at the end of the sentence. Las vamos a poner siempre al final de la oración. Se pueden poner al principio. Ok. Y algunas se pueden poner en medio. No hay problema. Pero normalmente en everyday talking, right? L la plática de todos los días es ponerla siempre al final, ¿ok? For example, when I say I exercise every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day, todos los días, right? You listen to music once a day. Una vez al día, yo escucho música, right? Once a day. I play football twice a week. Dos veces por semana, twice a week, twice a week, right? She goes out for dinner three times a month. Te va a cenar you know, three times, tres veces al mes, ¿sí? Qué chivo, ¿verdad? En mi caso solo una, <laughs> una vez. Okay. And then she goes dancing on Saturdays. Dancing, right? Ooh, ooh. Saturdays. Okay, some other people, Friday, right? She takes a nap once a day. Ella toma una siesta una vez al día, right? And my sister reads once a month. Mi hermana lee una vez al mes. I go to the movies every Sunday. Espérame a ver. Viendo películas, comiendo palomitas, popcorn, right? Every Sunday, you see? And finally, I visit friends every weekend. Todos los fines de semana. Okay? So, to show frequency, we have two things. Number one, frequency hours. Number two, time expressions. Para demostrar la frecuencia con lo que hacen ustedes, las actividades en su trabajo, en su casa, en su tiempo libre. Right? Uh, podemos usar los adverbios de frecuencia y otras expresiones de tiempo que van hasta el final de la oración, right? Good. Any question, class? Do you have questions? No questions? No, Yo okay. Tengo una duda, yes, tell me, please, tell me. Donde dice, she, go, she goes out for dinners. Ah, sí, sorry. Eh, significa... ahí, uh, sorry, ahí me estaba diciendo Héctor que nos comimos la R, ¿verdad? <laughs> sorry, for dinner, yes. Ah, ok. Yes. And let me see. Uh, por aquí también nos hemos equivocado. Mm, give me a second. For dinner. No sé por qué me comí la R aquí. <laughs> Es que como era comida o dinner. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. Sorry, sorry for the mistake. Oso, oso, el oso, oso de la noche. <laughs> okay, any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Okay. Don't forget that when you say Saturday, Sunday, days of the week, is always with capital letter. Capital letter, right? Mayúscula. Capital letter, days of the week. All the month, January, February, March, June, December, always with capital letter, right? ¿Mm? Siempre vamos a escribirlo con mayúsculas. Don't forget that, right? So, if no questions, we're going to finish the class with the manual. Vamos a terminar la clase con el manual, ¿sí? Okay. Let me see. Uh, Let's go to page 25. Give me a second here. Uh, vamos a cerrar esta presentación. Yes. Y no vamos a ir al manual nuevamente. A manual, right? Okay. And he said, let's start about... Um, Talking about what do you do in your job, right? What are your daily routines at your job, right? Okay. 
Now, we're going to do something, right? Uh, to make it fast. Para hacerlo rápido, vamos a hacer lo siguiente, ¿sí? Um, vamos a preguntarle el nombre de los compañeros, right? What's your name? For, for, for example, me va a decir, what's your name? Fátima. Ah, okay, good. And what do you do every day? Y Fátima me va, a me va a poner ahí, I check email, por ejemplo, o I, I receive money, right? Ok. Luego le vamos a preguntar a otro compañero, what's your name? Alexis, my name is Alexis. And what do you do every day? I repair cars, I, or I repair computers, right? O I, what? ¿Qué puede hacer Alexis? I drive trucks. Manejar camiones, tal vez. <laughs> no, I imagine, like, sorry. I, okay, so you're going to answer a personal activity, okay? Uh, la vez anterior que hicimos esta actividad, eh, tuve algunos inconvenientes con Doralicia, porque me parece que eh, la función de su teléfono no le permite meterse a los, a los breakup rooms. Entonces vamos a hacer una cosa. Doralicia me está escuchando. Aquí está, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Vamos, a, vamos a intentar hacer la actividad que hicimos la vez pasada, Doralicia. Y cuando le aparezca en su teléfono, ojalá que ahora sí funcione, ¿verdad? Uh, cuando le aparezca en su teléfono unirse, le da ahí el clic, oiga. Ok. Yo le voy a avisar en el momento que le va a aparecer, ¿sí? Ok, good. So, listen. Two things, right? Me van a preguntar dos cosas a su compañero que está en el grupo. ¿Sí? ¿Cuál es su nombre? Y una actividad que hace todos los días en su trabajo. ¿Sí? ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Okay. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Ese es el trabajo. ¿Ok? Good. Now, vamos a dejar de compartir acá. Ya sabemos que son cinco, una actividad por compañero y el nombre del compañero. Solamente, ¿Ok? Pueden usar el manual o pueden usar su cuaderno. Déjenme dejar de compartir, ¿verdad? Ok, okay vamos entonces a los breakout rooms. Vamos a ir a las salas. Y voy a poner cinco alumnos por sala. En algunos va a haber cuatro y en otros cinco, ¿sí? Ok. Let me see. En la sala uno va a estar Candy. Doralicia, preste atención, Doralicia, usted va a estar con, con Candy, con Gisela y con Wilfredo, ¿sí? En la sala 2, apunten por favor, ¿verdad? Porque cuando pregunte sala 1 o sala 2, ¿ok? En la sala 2 va a estar Fátima, Imer, Ir, eh, Irving, espero que le esté funcionando Irving el, el internet, y Rebeca. En la sala número 3, solo van a haber 3, que chivo aquí, ¿verdad? Solo 3 actividades me van a poner. Eh, Carmen, María y Oscar. En la sala 4 va a estar Francisco, José Antonio y José Roberto. Y en la sala 5, Alexis, Esmeralda y Margarita. ¿sí? Entonces, me le dan ahí unirse. ¿En la sala 1? ¿Quién nos dijo? Candy, Doralicia, Gisela y Wilfredo. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Es el grupo. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Vamos entonces. Ok, démosle unirse, por favor. Ahorita, Dora Alicia. Vamos, let's do it.
What's your name? My name is Wilfredo. Wilfredo. Do mm. you do daily activity? Activity? Activi no sé cómo. Activities. Do you do you daily activities? Uh, Hello, guys. Hello. Sorry for the interruption. Disculpe que lo interrumpa. La pregunta sería, what, do you, what is your daily activity? What? When I, send, I send some email. Ah, okay. Entonces vamos a poner Wilfredo. Sí. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos. Ok, Wilfredo, send email, right? Ahora vamos con Gisela. Pregúntenle a Gisela, por favor. Ah, uh, Wilfredo? No, Wilfredo dijo que Wilfredo sends email. Copien, por favor. Wilfredo sends email, right? Ah. Ahora pregúntenle a Gisela. Y lo voy a dejar solitos, ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, Gisela. Yo le tengo... ¿O cuál era su... ¿O cuál era, eh, Rebeca, tu, tu actividad diaria en el trabajo? I have to work. No te escucho muy bien. I help to co-workers. Hello, hello. Entonces me va a Hi, poner teacher. Rebeca helps co-workers, right? Rebeca ayuda a los compañeros, yes? Rebeca helps co-workers, good. Sigamos con los demás. Me voy a pasar a otra sala, ok? <ríe> ya estaban todos, ¿verdad? Sí, ya. Yes, yes. Ya no van a integrar, creo. Wow. Hello. ¿Todo bien acá? <laughs> ¿Todo bien acá? Yes. Everything is okay. Oh, Good. Todo blue. Okay. Carmen Flores, this, right? María, okay. this. Oscar, this, ¿ok? Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. Yes. Good. Ya nos vamos a incorporar entonces. Yes. <coughs> Okay, welcome again. Welcome everybody. I'm waiting for classroom one, right? Estamos esperando por la sala uno. 
Y la sala 5 también. Ahí vienen ya los chicos. Yes. Ok. Classroom 2. Vamos a ir a la sala 2. I need a secretary, right? Necesito una secretaria en la sala 2. O secretario, right? Rebecca, please help me, Rebecca. Okay. Okay, so you're going to say like this, Rebecca. Eh, eh, Fatima eh, cleans the office, for example. Or Fatima makes decision. Huh? Emer, uh, this, this, and this. Okay, good. Um, Irving training trains the people. Okay, Emer trains trains okay. the people. Continue. Emer repairs fishing machine. Okay, good. Now with with Fatima, please. Fatima. Uh, Fatima. Eh, ya dijo control de caja chica. Okay. Mm -hmm. Caja is the. Ah, I forgot. Se lo, se lo, voy a investigar y se lo voy a mandar al grupo. Okay. Caja chica. It has a name, but I don't remember. Give me a second. Okay. Caja chica. Vamos a decir small box. Right? Pero no es así. Okay. So Rebecca, no, I mean Fatima controls. The small box, right? Fatima <laughs> control. <laughs> yes. No, no se dice así, pero ya le, eh, al grupo se lo voy a mandar. Sí, al grupo de WhatsApp. That... Continue, please. Irving. Irving trains the people. Trains people too, right? Trains people. Okay. Y, y, Imer ya dijimos, ¿verdad? Imer. Yes. The same. Good. And now you, Rebecca. And I, I help co-workers. I help co-workers. Thank you very much. Sala 1, please. Vamos a pedirle a Wilfredo, va a ser secretario, ¿verdad? Wilfredo, please. Ok. Uh, I will start with my first classmate, uh, Candy. Mm -hmm. Candy uh, writes report. Good. Um, Gisela checks emails. Doralicia uh, maintains order in the school. Uh -huh. and, you? and and I uh, send some emails. Thank you. Perfect, right? You're welcome. Okay. Classroom three, right? Uh, Maria, please. You help me, Maria. You're the secretary, Maria. Okay. Okay. Carmen uh, take a decision. Takes. 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 Takes decisions. And Oscar keep track reports. Mm -hmm. And you? Uh, Maria, check the payroll. The payrolls, right? Okay, yes. very good. Thank you. Sala numero cuatro. Francisco, you're the secretary in the group, please. Can you help me, Francisco? Okay. Uh, Roberto, write reports and create invoices. Creates. Uh, creates. Creates okay. invoices, yeah. Uh, Jose, second. Jose Antonio, Jose, right? Jose Antonio, yeah. Uh, he usually listen music in listens, the listen listen music and I, okay, I okay, Francisco, Francisco sorry for the interruption eh, por favor no me esté quemando José Antonio que escucha música en el trabajo por favor <laughs> no, that's okay don't worry I'm kidding continue Francisco and I I take a nap <laughs> In the office, Francisco. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe you. <laughs> okay. Uh, classroom five, please. Salon cinco. Vamos a ver aquí. ¿Quién me va a ayudar? Alexis, please. Help me, Alexis. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, Alexis, help me, please. Uh, Margarita. The daily activity, activities, ergonomic exercise, and my child. So you say, she exercises. Say, Alex, she exercises. Ergonomics. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. She exercises. 
Continúa, ah. continúa. ¿Esmeralda? El de Esmeralda sí no lo anoté. Oh, ok. ¿En you, Alexis? Mi, um, este... Sería... No sé cómo decirlo en, en inglés. Say in Spanish, say in Spanish. Este, como atención al cliente. Ah, yes. Eh, help the clients. O oh, customer ah. service, también se dice, ¿verdad? Sí, customer customer service. service. Customer sí. service, yes. Teacher de Esmeralda es auditor de calidad. Uh, audit. Yeah. Audit de quality. <laughs> Dicen de audit, audit, right? Auditar, audit. audit. Yes. Audit. Eso no lo pusimos en la presentación, ¿verdad? Pero es audit, auditar. O también si alguno de ustedes es supervisor, ¿verdad? Supervise. Por ejemplo, supervise the production, supervise the workers, supervise the teacher. Ah, no. <laughs> okay. Supervisor, right? Good. So, we're going to finish the class today with a conversation. Vamos a terminar la clase ahora con una conversación, ¿sí? Listen, please. Give me a second here. Oh, yes, here. Page 38, exercise six, conversation. I get up at noon. Listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. <laughs> okay, but let's go in the I'm afternoon. Sorry. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Good. Wilfredo, tell me affirmative, negative, or question, Wilfredo. I sleep late on weekends. It's affirmative. Affirmative, right? So, are we using frequency? ¿Estamos usando frecuencia aquí, sí o no? Uh, no. We are, mm, we are using on late weekends. on weekends. Ah, uh -huh. we, on weekends. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, esas son... Dijimos que hay dos cosas que nos ayudan a describir frecuencia. Son los frequency adverbs que van antes del verbo y otras expresiones como on weekends, in the afternoon, on Sunday, etc., etc. Right? Good. Now, do you eat breakfast then? Uh, Rebecca, please, this is what? Affirmative, negative, or question? Question. Question, right? Yes, no question. Because you can say, do you eat breakfast? Yes, I do. Or oh, no, I don't, right? Yes. And finally, Oscar, please, they serve breakfast all day. This is affirmative, negative, or question? They are not They serve... Ellos sirven, right? They serve breakfast all day. Affirmative. Affirmative, correct, right? Yeah. So this is very important. Necesito que de aquí en adelante ya puedan identificar en una conversación uh -huh. oraciones usando el verbo to be y oraciones usando el presente simple, right? Y um, quiero ver si hay una oración donde está la tercera persona. No, creo que no hay. Pero no se les olvide que cuando hay una tercera persona, siempre se le va a agregar una S al verbo, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Good. Now, let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Oh, microphones off, please. Oscar, please, thank you. Now, repeat, everybody. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. I get up at noon. Al mediodía me levanto, right? Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. 
I have breakfast every day. Frequency, right? Every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant. Let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. ¿eh? Qué chido, ¿verdad? Ahí sirven desayuno todo el día. Así que pueden visitar el restaurante. <laughs> okay, the tennis, vamos a pasar asistencia. And I'll see you tomorrow, right? Good. And let's start with Silvia. Silvia? No, right? Hoy no estuvo Silvia con nosotros. Okay. And Candy? Present teacher. Good. Have a good night, Candy. Carmen? Hi. Good night, teacher. Bye, teacher. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. God bless you. Dora Alicia? Dora Alicia? Eric? Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Thank you, Dora Alicia. Eric? Eric? Yeah. Emeralda? Present teacher. Fatima? Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you, Fatima. Francisco? Oh, hi, teacher. Good. That's it. Wait for me, Francisco. I almost finished here. Isela? Good night, teacher. Good night. Eh, Hector? Hector Gustavo? Here, teacher. Okay, good. Have a good night, Hector. God bless you. The same to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Imer? Good night, teacher. Good night. Irving? Present. Good night, okay, teacher. You. Thank you. Thank you. Jose Antonio? Good night, teacher. Good night. Jose Roberto? Good night, teacher. Good night. Margarita? Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Maria? Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Alexis? Present. Good. Oscar Armando. Present. Rebecca. Good night. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo. Good night. And Misael. Eric. Benita. Night. Eric. Okay. Good. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. God bless you. Okay. Uh, so Margarita and Esmeralda, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. God bless you. Teacher, una pregunta. Ah, sí, dígame, Margarita. En la tarea de lunes uh, en, para complete, para ordenar. Sí. En la número tres no no le encuentro. Vaya, déjeme anotarla, Margarita. Le voy a mandar. Eh, este, hágame un favor. Mándeme sí. un, un eh, mensaje al WhatsApp, porque en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp no la tengo identificada. No sé quién es quién, ¿me entiende? Okay. Entonces, usted mándeme un, un eh, mensaje ahorita. Vale, okay. y, y yo se lo voy a. Le voy a explicar cuál es la número tres, ¿verdad? Tres. Tres. Explicar a Margarita plataforma. Va. Ok, teacher. Ok, solo póngame, teacher, soy Margarita, y yo ya voy a entender, ¿ok? Ok, good night. Thank you, good night, God bless you. Ok, let's close this. Give me a second, Francisco. I'm going to close everything here. Ok, that's it, right? So, eh, Margarita, todavía la tengo conectada. Ah, ok, good. Thank you, thank you. Ok. How are you, Francisco? How's everything? I'm fine. Fine. I try to survive. <laughs> okay. And what do you do exactly in your job, Francisco? Yo eh, hago reportes. You make reports. Uh -huh. I make reports. Eh, soy el encargado. I'm in charge. Area. Uh -huh. I'm in charge. I am. I'm in charge of one area. One area. Huh? 
on, on one area, uh, the, the back office department. Mm -hmm. Okay. And make and make reports and take a decisions. I take a I take this. I take I, I, I take a decisions and 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 I make a schedule for schedule. my team. A schedule for my team. So you have a lot of work to do, Francisco. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. Good. Congratulations for your, your English, Francisco. And thank, thank you, you. Thank you to help me in the class because sometimes I need some student who, who manage the English very well, right? So yeah, good. I, I, try, I tried, I tried. Yes. And what, what is your opinion about the classes, Francisco? If... Are you learning? I'm happy with the class, eh, classmates. Um, I start for the beginning because mm -hmm. I need to review. I, I need to a uh, uh, review, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, just Uh, a lot of years ago, you were studying English, I imagine. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I make imagine. a yeah, because like your, a, your pronunciation is really good. Your pronunciation is good. I I see uh, TV shows and uh, movies in in original language. Oh, good! That that that's perfect. Yes, music, movies. Come on. That's perfect, right? Even if you can check some audio books in YouTube, perfect. Yes. I was reading last time Tom Sawyer. Do you know Tom Sawyer? It's a it's a novel. It's a novel, Tom Sawyer. Yeah, I was reading in YouTube. I Maybe. I gonna to I gonna to to read a, a book in English. Okay, so you can do it in YouTube. El Principito, for example, the the prince is in, in YouTube. Okay. So you can check it. You can study. You can read it in, in YouTube, right? It's, it's perfect. So you listen to someone reading the book and then and you and you see the, the, the letter, right? I I download uh some apps in my cell phone mm -hmm. to study Duolingo okay. and another that good. No, no, but, but what you're doing is uh, watching movies or programs in English is perfect, right? This, this is the real English, right? And especially some action movies, you know? <laughs> so they say, mother, <laughs> okay? And some, some uh, profane, some uh, bad word, right? Some mean words, it says, malas palabras, mean yeah. words. <laughs> yeah, but this is the real English, right? In the, in the United States or Australia or, or England, right? So. I con country. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. Now, what about the, the structure of the simple present, for example, Francisco? Uh, for example, the use of the third person singular, for example. Do you find it difficult? Or do you need me uh, that I explain something? Siéndole sincero, uh -huh. la, last week I... I under, but estaba bajo mucha presión. Ah, oh, ok. Entonces, eh, some days in, in a week, I, eh, I stay into the work and the class. Oh, I understand. Yes. Entonces. Eh, well, difficult. Yeah, no, come on. It's really difficult to do that, right? Y por, por la naturaleza de mi trabajo, o sea, yo trabajo para la app de Hugo. Ah, ok. Ajá, entonces. That's why you eh, use a motorcycle. Eh, I love the, the motorcycles. Uh, me too. I, I, have, I ride. I have three motorcycles. The three were Yamaha. Yeah, so, I have a Honda. A, a Honda. A, a Honda. It's a good the brand of motorcycles. Honda is really good. Sí. 
CV700 eh, okay. CC. Ok. It's a big motorcycle. It's a big motorcycle, yes, I see. And you use that to go to everywhere in San Salvador. Eh, in San Salvador, in La Paz, mm. I go to the beach. Nice. So this is, congratulations and be careful, right? Last time yeah. I was telling you that please do not overpass on the right of the cars, you know? Because sometimes I, I see some guys overpassing me on my right. And I say, okay, what, why they don't, don't do on the left, I say. Because uh, one thing that maybe you don't know about when, when you're driving a car is that if you see a hole on the street, un hoyo en la calle, right? Un hoyo. Uh -huh. So sometimes you, you do this, look, naturally, right? And if, if there is a motorcycle on your right, you don't see it. So sometimes you... Last time I almost hit the guy, casi golpeó un señor, and I was, ooh. yeah, because he was overpassing me on, on my right, you know. Or sometimes at the corners, some when we are crossing, right, we are watching here, and when we turn, we can hit the motorcycle, yeah. So that's it. But then the rest is, you know, in San Salvador is, is the jungle. <laughs> When I ride in, in the city, I don't know over 60s, 5, uh, 50 miles. I, 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 don't, I don't go fast in, in the city. Okay, that's very good because... Always. I, 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 I your don't. family is waiting for you, Francisco. And, <laughs> no, no okay. because... No, because I I live alone. Okay. Maybe. Oh, but you have family. Ago. I imagine you have family in other place in La Paz or in. I imagine. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yes. So take care of yourself, please. <laughs> okay, but so so. I need you check the 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 PowerPoint presentation, right? So uh, make a more review. Check the rules, because you know simple present really basic really basic so if, if you need to understand the structure for example today you know i was telling you to check what is the subject what is the verb what is the frequency average you know and they have a position in the sentence eh? so for that reason it's really important right really important. And, yeah. and congratulations that you're making like a review of of the topics right and this is really important, this topic, right? So again, I made a question to finish the, this meeting. Do you have any question about the simple present, Francisco? No, I don't have no. any question. As I repeat, right, maybe the rules are, are difficult to, to learn, you know, uh, change the Y to I, when the very ends in S, A, C, H, or O, U, R, E, E, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So you have to memorize it, simple like that, right? Okay, Francisco, so it was a, a great pleasure for me to, to talk to you tonight. And thank you to, to stay in my class, yeah, you know, because you, you help me all the time. <laughs> thank you. I hope to see you in another, how do you say, Cla class? Class, yes, in another yeah. class, yeah. Yes, no problem. Yeah. Every, every day, every uh, model, uh, every class is in uh, Mon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, this is a module one. Module two is another month. How many months uh, is the basic? Is the basic? It's six. Six and basic. And totally program? Uh, 18. Okay. 18 months, right? Yeah, because. If, uh, the, there are six books per level, and every book has four units. So it means we see one unit every week. Every right? week, okay. Yeah, that, that's the, the program, right? Okay. okay. And tonight, I'm sorry, you, you saw me that I was kind of, and I got the flu, you know? Me dio un poco de gripe, so sorry for you and for the class that I was like, sometimes cleaning my nose and... <laughs> In your eyes. Yeah, my, my eyes are really red, you know, because, yeah, but I, 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 I took some medicine and I hope uh, that tomorrow I'm going to be better, right? Yeah. Okay, Francisco, God bless you. Have a good night. God bless you. Have a, a good night. Thank you. And be careful with your motorcycle, eh?
Thank you. Okay, bye. I try it. <laughs>